Hey there YouTube, this is stream 4306 and this is just a quick video. So um, I've been archiving stuff on different hard drives and moving around a lot of data because I had to um, free up space on a hard drive um, so I can use it with my PS3 for, um, for ISO backups and whatnot. Uh, so what I ended up doing was digging out this guy which was um, from an old computer that I took apart. And this is a 646, yeah, 640 gigabyte uh, drive. And the problem, it's a three and a half inch. And I haven't uh, used this at all, so I have no idea what's on there. But I'm going to wipe it and then um, move some stuff off of some 2.5 inch drives onto here. So I can uh, use the 2.5 inch drives with the PS3. Because the problem with these drives is not only do they require 5 volts, but they also require 12 volts to run. Now, um, you can get pretty cheap for about 2 or $3 off eBay, a, one of these uh, USB to SATA cables. And these work great with 2.5-inch uh, drives like uh, this guy, just laptop-style hard drives. I've never had a problem with them. They're able to power them. They work great. Uh, but the problem is I, I can't use this drive. If you were to plug this in and uh, plug this into the computer like this, um, nothing would happen. I mean, the computer would see the USB hub, but it would never, this drive can never spin up. It just would sit there and do nothing. So, um, what you can do, a quick little mod that I've done, is um, using a 12-volt uh, uh, wall wart, I uh, soldered it to just a socket, and then um, to uh, one of these guys. So I actually popped this open, and inside is... Um, very carefully, there's some wires kind of almost falling apart there, uh, is this uh, little circuit board that converts USB to SATA. And um, if you look at the connector, on the far edge of the connector, um, the longer slotted uh, side, you can kind of see there, on this side near my thumb, the last three wires are 12 volts. So you can solder wire to any of those three wires, but just be super careful you don't touch any of the other wires. You don't create a blot or anything like that. That will be very bad very fast if you did that. Um, so if you do this correctly then, um, what you can end up doing is creating a powered version of this that will work with uh, three and a half inch drives. And just to demonstrate, I can plug this guy in. Let's see, going upside down. There we go. So I will carefully plug this in. And I don't think it really matters per se. Um, I, I, I just usually plug in USB first, and then I plug in the 12 volt. Uh, but you can see the light came on when I plugged it into USB. Sorry, bump the camera. Uh, so it, it enumerated, but it won't actually spin up until I plug in the 12 volt supply. And you can see now the data is actually going. And if I'm quiet, you can just about hear the drive is spinning. And Windows detected it. And if I open up my computer now, I can just scroll up to here. You can see now there is an extra drive here, and it is uh, five. It's formatted to NTFS, so it's 596 gigabytes. This is a four a 640 gigabyte drive. And I can show you here. It enumerates. It works. We're all good to go. So yeah, using. A 2.5 inch adapter, you can actually modify it to run 3.5 inch discs. And I have a future project coming up where I'm making a, an enclosure. I bought a 3 terabyte, 3.5 inch disc. And I've hardwired a, uh, an entire enclosure. Um, and I think it's pretty neat. Uh, you guys will enjoy what I actually used for the case for the enclosure. Um, but anyway, yeah, so if you guys ever, you know, come across some 3.5 inch SATAs and you want to use them just like you would 2.5 inch drives, this is a way to do it. So yeah, anyway, um, let me just eject this. And another important thing, so once you have... Okay, we're done. I ejected. Okay, once uh, to power down, I just will pull the USB cord. And yeah, you can hear the disc spun down and then you can unplug the 12 volt line. Anyway, I, I don't think this damages anything. Uh, I've used this for, I, I don't know, probably like, I, I've actually used it for the three terabyte drive to back up two computers worth of data, and nothing's gone wrong, you know, no smoking, nothing's caught on fire yet, so I'm pretty sure this is safe. And uh, another thing to know is, so you have your plus 12 volts, uh, 
everything's common to ground so you can solder anywhere where there's ground you can solder the black wire of the 12 volt power supply too and you'll be good to go and so yeah this works on uh these types of uh of you know sata adapters i've also tried it on um the adapters that came with the seagate uh, backup plus um drives those are really tiny they're usb3 it works just fine i actually have that sitting on my three terabyte drive right now so i can upload uh, and download data transfer it at 3.0 speeds and it works just fine with this 12 volt mod here so yeah if you guys are interested or you have any information or questions put them down below i just want to make this quick video and i will see you later bye